Good day, my fellow Americans, Abe Lincoln here, also known as Honest Abe by American school children everywhere. I have been keeping up with current events and have been following William M. Windsor with The Lawless America Project. I am afraid that concerns that I had about 150 years ago have come to pass. Please listen, we may congratulate ourselves that this cruel war is nearing its end. It has cost a vast amount of treasure and blood. It has indeed been a trying hour for the Republic. But I see in the near future a crisis approaching that unnerves me, and causes me to tremble for the safety of my country. As a result of the war, corporations have been enthroned, and an era of corruption in high places will follow, and the money power of the country will endeavor, to prolong its reign by working upon the prejudices of the people until all wealth is aggregated in a few hands and the republic is destroyed. I feel at this moment more anxiety for the safety of my country than ever before, even in the midst of war. God grant that my suspicions may prove groundless, as I watch what is going on in America today I see that my suspicions were not groundless, and in fact, the corruption has crept into every aspect of society. It even seems to be running rampant throughout the justice system. Some judges in America have recently pled guilty to a kids for cash scheme, where they were taking cash to have children arrested and incarcerated. A New York judge has been recently caught on video taking a bribe from an attorney to ensure that he would rule in favor of the lawyer's client and against the spouse and mother of the children, in a family court case. William Windsor of Lawless America the movie is currently interviewing people from every state in this nation about corruption of all types. The judicial corruption seems to be widespread. This was once an honorable profession. It is now my opinion that many people who have recently faced incarceration have much more honor than many of these sitting judges. It has been reported to Bill Windsor of Lawless America, the movie, that there is even a judge in Washington who believes he may be God or at least that is what he has reportedly told some attorneys in his chambers, if a judge were ethical and honest in all of his rulings, I guess, maybe he could be considered a god, with a small g, in his courtroom, a big fish and a small bowl, if you will. But if a judge by his rulings causes great pain to families and especially to children and he is acting like a god with a capital G, who believes he's infallible and above reproach then there is a big problem with the system. It has been reported to William M. Windsor that such is the case with Judge Gordon Godfrey, of Grays Harbor County, Washington, in 1993 in a story about Judge Godfrey that appeared in an edition of the Daily News. It was reported that Gordon Godfrey doesn't mince words from the Grays Harbor County Supreme Court bench. He says plain speaking lets the defendant know exactly where they stand. One defense attorney said his clients fear. Godfrey's verbal dressing down as much as the time he gives them. Judge Godfrey once called an ex-police officer a twisted stick when he sentenced him to jail for offering to fix traffic tickets for money. My question is then, will Judge Godfrey come out publicly and condemn corrupt judges? Will he publicly label them as twisted sticks for doing far worse than this former police officer? William M. Windsor and some who have appeared before the judge believe that it is time for Judge Godfrey to go, go, go. Here is a quote from Bill Windsor. Bill Windsor of Lawless America, the movie believes Judge Gordon Godfrey of Grays Harbor County, Washington is a corrupt judge who ignores the facts and the law and destroys lives. Judge Gordon Godfrey needs to look at the first two letters of his first and last name. It's time for this judge to go. He must resign now. Bill Windsor claims that he intends to pay a personal visit to Judge Godfrey. I would love to be a fly on the wall at that meeting. Here is what William Windsor has said about wanting to meet Judge Godfrey. I plan to visit Grays Harbor County Courthouse to ask Judge Gordon Godfrey about this God revelation, and I will try to speak with each of the people involved in what I believe is corruption. So, get ready Grays Harbor County. Put Subway on speed dial as you will not want to let anyone out of the building at lunch since we will put them on camera and ask them about this. Bill is quite the guy. The subway reference is an inside joke among Bill and the stars of his movie. At one location when he attempted to interview some corruption that had gone on at a child protective services office the entire staff hid inside the building and rather than leave for lunch, they ordered out for subway sandwiches. 
Maybe someday Subway will sponsor the Lawless America movie. I encourage you to stay tuned for future developments and tell everyone that you know that William M. Windsor and his cast of over 1,000 are trying to save America. Will Bill be able to meet Judge Gordon Godfrey face to face? Will Judge Godfrey publicly call his corrupt colleagues, twisted, sticks? Will the judge and others hide in their offices? Will they order Subway sandwiches? Please stay tuned for future developments and follow the Lawless America Project on Facebook and the website at www.lawlessamerica.com.